In this video, we'll take a look at how to calculate correlations between several variables in Google Sheets. And notice here I have three variables, SAT score, social support, and college GPA. And what I want to do here is calculate all possible bivariate correlations. So by, we have two at a time. So I want to calculate a correlation between SAT and social support, SAT and college GPA, and then finally, social support and college GPA. So to calculate correlation between these pairs of variables, we're going to need to use what's known as a function in Google Sheets. And a function consists of three parts. We have the equals sign, and that tells Google Sheets that a function is coming. And then we have the function name, and in our case we'll use the function corel, C-O-R-R-E-L, and that tells Sheets to calculate a Pearson correlation on the data. And then we need to indicate after that, inside parentheses, the cells that we want the correlation to be calculated on. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. Let's go ahead and make a correlation table right here. So I'm going to take these variable names. I'll copy those using Control C. Go ahead and paste those there. And I'm going to show you a trick here. I'm going to paste the names here as well. If I right click the mouse and go to Paste Special and then go down to Paste Transposed, that will paste those names there. So that's perfect. I'm going to left align those values in the cells. These two, I'm going to show you how to wrap these to see another way to do this. So select the two variable names here and then go to Format and then Text Wrapping and then select Wrap. And notice how those fit now the cell. It's just made it wider to fit those. And then now for correlations, a correlation between a variable and itself, so SAT with SAT, is always 1.0. So these three, social support, social support will be 1, and then college GPA with college GPA is 1. These values are where our correlations will go. So SAT with social support will go here, SAT with college GPA will go here, and then social support with college GPA will go here. So let's go ahead and start. So we're going to use, remember, the equal sign first, that tells Sheets that a function is coming. And then we'll type the name Corel, so C-O-R-R-E-L. Notice it says Pearson Product Moment Correlation Coefficient, and that's the Pearson Correlation for short. Now what we want to do is use an open parenthesis. And then now notice how Google is showing us some examples of how we can put data inside these parentheses. And that's exactly what we'll do. Since this is a correlation between SAT score and social support, we'll go ahead and start by selecting the SAT score values. Make sure you select them all there, down to row 31. And then I'll go back up. Now I'm going to press and hold the control key. And it should be the command key for Max. Go ahead and select social support values with the control key held down. And then Notice here I have values B2 through B31. Those are all the SAT scores. And then comma, that means my next variable is coming after the comma, C2 through C31. And those are the social support values. So that looks great. So put a closed parenthesis in there, and then press Enter, and you have your correlation. We have a correlation of 0.18 between SAT score and social support. And if yours presents a number of decimal places, uh, like this here, all you have to do is use the Decrease Decimal button until you get it to two decimal places. Okay, next, SAT and College GPA. So equals, Corel again, open parenthesis. Now I'll select the SAT scores. Press and hold the Control key. Select College GPA scores. And then scroll back up. Put a closed parenthesis and press Enter. And now we have that correlation of 0.64. And then finally, we have the correlation between social support and college GPA. So C-O-R-R-E-L, open parenthesis. Select the social support values. And then press and hold the control key. And then select college GPA. Now it's important to note here that you don't select all the values at once. So you wouldn't want to select social support and college GPA at one time because Google would think that was one variable. It, it would put all the values right here. But we want to make sure that we select the first variable values 
first and then select the other variables with the control key held down. Okay, that looks perfect. Put the closed parenthesis, press enter, and there we go. Now my values were already formatted in bold, so if yours weren't, you can just press bold to get them formatted. You can center them by selecting this button here. And now let's format this table just a bit. I'm going to put a border around it, and then I'll put a grid line in here above, right below the variable names, and then I'll put a grid line to the right of these variable names. Okay, good. And then I'm going to add a little color here as well. So selecting the correlation values, let's select this one here, and then I'm going to select the other values and put a light gray there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and italicize these. All right, so this is an example of a correlation table or a correlation matrix between these three variables. And as a quick review of correlation, because these are all positive values here, that means that people who have higher scores on one variable tend to have higher scores on the other variable. This value here, the 0.64 between college GPA and SAT, indicates the strongest correlation. So that relationship of higher values on SAT going with higher values on college GPA is the strongest for these two variables. We have a fairly small uh, relationship between social support and the two academic variables, SAT score and college GPA, which are these two cells here, the 0.18 and 0.25. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.